Maybe you've been looking for the Architect Artifacts because you want to get Ion Batteries and Power Cells unlocked quickly. Maybe you just want the Quantum Locker. Or maybe you really, 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 really want to be Architect Master and scan them all. Regardless, you're looking for the Architect Artifacts in Below Zero. While Alan does help you find these, he can be a bit slow. So in this video, I'm going to give you a fast run through of all the Architect Artifact locations in Subnautica Below Zero. First though, let's take a look at what tech you get unlocked from scanning these. On your second scan, you will unlock the Quantum Locker. This is like the Ender Chest in Minecraft and basically gives you multiple lockers you can place around the world, which will all have the same shared inventory. On your fourth scan, you unlock the Recyclotron, which lets you take crafted materials and recycle them back to their components. Useful for breaking down accidentally crafted items or just found items you don't need. Scan number six will give you the unlock for the ion batteries and ion power cells. Scan number 10 will unlock the Sea Truck Teleportation Module and Associated Tether Tool. Any scans over 10 does nothing but add to your scan collection for becoming Architect Master. Now some of these artifacts appear in multiple places, so I'm just going to go through them quickly in alphabetical order. First up, the Alien Statue, which you can find in the Kappa Mining Site. This is right as you pass through the large prawn suit docking station area, you're going to take the left tunnel. You'll see it in the middle of a bunch of lights, so go ahead, grab a quick scan. There is also a second alien statue inside the deep lily pads cache, but this is not a scannable artifact. The ray module can be found in the Arctic Kelp Caves. This is the easiest one to find probably because it is in the caves that have the opening right next to the emergency supply cache. Just dive down from the cache and keep going as low as you can. The energy generator you'll find in the Glacial Bay. From the Phyrobotics dock, head along under the land bridge that leads to the Altera Bridge and you'll go around the curve and then see light sticks ahead of you. The Fossil Excavator is easy to find once you find the Mercury 2 Thruster section. From the Mercury 2, just dive straight down and look for the green lights. You should be able to find it easily. There is also a small architect site here with an ion cube next to this, as well as some spiral plants in this area, making it a very good place to get some clippings. The greenhouse you will find in the Arctic Spires. Heading from the Altera Bridge, take the rightmost path. You will pass right by Thumper Site 2 and go over the Frozen River. The easiest path to follow from here is to head right up the middle incline and into the cave. You can also reach the location from two other cave entrances, but I feel the way I've shown is the easiest to follow. There are two ground sampler locations, with the first one being in the East Arctic. You can find this in the middle of three large iceberg formations, one of which is the iceberg where Marguerite's greenhouse is located. In this area, just dive down, avoiding the chelicerate, and you'll get a notification for an active volcano. Go into the Volcano's Caldera opening and you'll find the first ground sampler. The second ground sampler is found in the tree spires. There are two of the large vent gardens in this area and the ground sampler is found in the caverns beneath the southernmost vent garden. The marine life analyzer will be found in the lily pad caves. In the lily pads, find the architect power cable strewn across the landscape and follow it to where it's broken. The floating piece of rock with the piece of broken cable on it is right above the cave entrance to this. Go into the entrance and stick to the right, working your way down. If you start seeing light sticks, you're going the wrong way. Just keep going down and to the right until you find the MLA at the bottom of a pit. The material analysis station can be found very easily at Delta Island. Start at Delta Dock and head around to the eastern side of the island. You are looking for not the first beach section with pinglings, but the third. You will know it's the right one because there is an exposed section of stairs in the cliffs above it. Head into the cave where you can see the thermal lily. The mineral distillery is found in the thermal spires. This is close to where the thermal spires transition into the purple vents. There are two small entrances you can use to get to this artifact, but probably the easier one to notice is the one with the oxygen plant. Both ways, however, are right next to the artifact. There are two obelisk scans, and the first one is at the Deep Twisty Bridges. This is hidden far down and hidden far back inside a tunnel. The second obelisk you can find in some of the Arctic Kelp Caves. This cave is right at the edge of where you start to see the eye jellies coming into play. There are multiple entrances here, so just pick one and keep going down until you reach the bottom. The satellite is another easy one and can be found atop one of the icebergs adjacent to the iceberg where you find Marguerite's greenhouse. 
This makes it a great one to snag at the same time you go and grab the ground sampler in the volcano below. Finally, we have the water analysis station, with the first one being in the Arctic Kelp Caves. This cave can be a little harder to find because the opening for it is in the middle of a lot of creek vine. But once you find it, you're going to have to head down as deep as you can go. Be careful looking around because the openings for the deepest section where the artifacts sit are a little bit smaller, so you might miss them. You can find the second water analysis station in the purple vents. This is actually a pretty easy one to find because there's a chelicerate there and it's guarding a long crevice where you find several sea truck module scans. Dive down and go past the purple vents in this area. If you see the Altera container, then you need to turn around, head past the purple vent, and then go to the left. And that is all 15 Architect Artifacts in Subnautica Below Zero. Again, you only need to scan 10 to get all the unlocks, so you only want to scan all 15 in order to become Architect Master. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and go watch another video.